Hello students, how are you? This week we will study about Jewish religious sects in the intertestamental period. We will look at some 20 words in relation with the Jewish religious sects today. And before we start, let's pray. Dear our gracious Heavenly Father, we come to you with our humble heart to learn the vocabulary uh, related to the Jewish sects of the time. Give us clarity of mind by your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, the first word is pluralism. Pluralism is a theory that there are more than one or more than two kinds of ultimate reality. It's a state of society in which members of diverse ethnic, racial, religious, or social groups maintain and develop their traditional culture or special interest within the confines of a common civilization. It's called pluralism. Pluralism denotes a diversity of views or stands rather than a single approach or method. Religious pluralism shows the acceptance of all religious paths as equally valid, promoting coexistence. Uh, the intertestamental period was a time of pluralism because there were various sects in within Judaism of that time. One of them is Pharisaism, Pharisees. The Pharisees were a social movement and a school of thought in the Levant during the time of Second Temple Judaism. After the destruction of the Second Temple in 70 AD, Pharisaic beliefs became the foundational liturgical and ritualistic basis for rabbinic Judaism, uh, the scholars think. There were conflicts between Pharisees and Sadducees. For example, one party believed in resurrection, the other party didn't believe. Uh, one party believed in angels, the other party denied the existence of angels, that kind of thing. Yes, Pharisees have also been made notable by numerous references to them in the New Testament. They often appear in the New Testament and had many conflicts with Jesus, as we remember. Sadducees. The Sadducees were the party of high priests, aristocratic families and merchants. The wealthier elements of the population were Sadducees. Sadducees were members of a Jewish priestly sect that flourished for about two centuries before the destruction of the Second Temple of Jerusalem in AD 70. They generally represented the conservative view within Judaism. Okay? They were priestly um, class, different from the Pharisees. Samaritans. Samaritans believe that their religion based exclusively on the first six books of the Hebrew Bible, the Samaritan Torah plus the book of Joshua is the true religion of the ancient Israelites. The Samaritan people believe that Mount Gerizim was the original holiest place for the Israelites since the time of Joshua's conquest of Canaan. And it goes even before that, they think um, like Shechem is the central uh, city of the whole history of Israel as well. And they, their Torah is a little bit different from our Torah that we have also. Zealots. The Zealots were a political movement in first century Second Temple Judaism, which sought to incite the people of Judea province 
to rebel against the Roman Empire and expel it from the Holy Land by force of arms, most notably during the first Jewish Roman War during this time, right? Zealotry was the term used by Josephus for a fourth sect or fourth Jewish philosophy during this period. So uh, they, they had Phariseeism, Sadducees, and Essenes, and Zealots. The Zealots were the fourth philosophy of the time. Herodians. The Herodians were a sect of Hellenistic Jews mentioned in the New Testament on two occasions, first in Galilee and later in Jerusalem, being hostile to Jesus. These are the uh, textual references with Herodians. In each of these cases, their name is coupled with that of the Pharisees. They came together with Pharisees to accuse uh, Jesus or find out faults from Jesus. According to many interpreters, the courtiers or soldiers of Herod Antipas were mentioned. So Herodians means Herod's uh, like subjects and soldiers. Uh, they are called Herodians in the New Testament. Sikari. The Sikari were a splinter group of the Jewish zealots who in the decades preceding Jerusalem's destruction in 70 CE, strongly opposed the Roman occupation of Judea and attempted to expel them and their sympathizers from the area. The Sikari carried Sika, or small daggers, concealed in their cloaks from which the name Sikari came. Yeah. So it it was a part, a splinter group of zealots. Donald Gowen, uh, uh, he is the Professor Emeritus of Old Testament at Pittsburgh Theological Seminary in Pittsburgh. He is called Robert Cleveland Holland Professor Emeritus. Maybe it's the honorary title. He is a minister in the Presbyterian Church and has authored, authored several books on the Old Testament, including Theology in Exodus, Theology of the Prophetic Books, and Bridge Between the Testaments, uh, which is one of our textbooks, Bridge Between the Testaments. Sanballat. Sanballat is best known for the book of Nehemiah, as we all know. His name appears there, which casts him as one of the chief opponents of the Jewish governor Nehemiah during the letters Nehemiah's efforts to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem and carrying out his reforms among the Jews. In Jewish tradition, he, had, he was called the Horonite. That means he is a native of Horonaim. And Horonaim is a city name uh, in Moab, in the southern part of Moab. So he, he is a Horonite and was associated with Tobia, the Ammonite, and Geshem, the Arabian. His home was evidently in Samaria. Those were um, opponents of uh, Nehemiah, uh, hindering the rebuilding of Jerusalem wall and the reformation that he was doing. Herod Archelaus. Archelaus was ethnarch of Samaria, Judea, and Idumea nine years. Uh, for nine years. Archelaus was removed by Roman Emperor Augustus when Judea province was formed under direct Roman rule at the time of the census of Quirinius. He was the son of Herod the Great and Malthas. It's, it's 
his mother's name was thus the Samaritan and was the brother of Herod Antipas. Matthew 2.22 mentions he succeeded his father after his death because it was during his lifetime that Jesus was born, right? And he succeeded the Herod the Great who was seeking after the life of Jesus, baby Jesus, right? Nissan Nissan in the Hebrew calendar it is the first month of the ecclesiastical year called the first of the month of the year in Exodus first month in the month of Abib so Abib month of Abib is month of Nissan same thing right 14th of Nissan is the Passover Seder meal and 15 to 21 Nisan is the Passover week or the unleavened bread, right? Nisan usually falls in March, April on the Gregorian calendar. The civil new year started from Tishri, but the religious year started from Nisan. Now we go to uh, Amharets. Aretz means the land, right? Ha is the article. Am means the people. Amharets, people of the land. In the second temple period, the people of the land, Amharets, are contrasted with those returning from the Babylonian captivity. It designates either the rural Jews who had remained in the land while the aristocratic and priestly classes were deported or they intermarried with the peoples of the lands. It's in Ezra 9.1. Peoples of the lands, meaning Gentile people, right? Who are not direct descendants of uh, Jewish people. And there may be an equation or relation with the origin of the Samaritans. Next one is Shammai. Shammai was a Jewish scholar of the first century and an important figure in Judaism's core work of rabbinic literature, the Mishnah. Shammai was the most eminent contemporary of Hillel, as you can see here. Hillel was much older, right? About 60 years older than Shammai. Yeah. His Shammai's religious views were known to be strict. The next one, Hillel. Hillel was a Jewish religious leader, sage and scholar associated with the development of the Mishnah and the Talmud, and the founder of the house of Hillel school of Tanaim. He is popularly known with the golden rule. Compared with Shammai, his religious uh, views were known to be more lenient. So Hillel was more lenient in the interpretation of the Bible, and Shammai was more strict uh, in his interpretation of the Old Testament, Tanakh, right? Golden rule. Uh, Hillel had the golden rule, right? The golden rule is the principle of treating others as one wants to be treated. Hillel's golden rule says, that which is hateful to you, do not do to your fellow. That is the whole Torah. The rest is the explanation. Go and learn. On the other hand, Jesus said, therefore, whatever you want, want men to do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophets. So um, Hillel's golden rule and uh, Jesus' golden rule look very similar, but the difference is, as you notice, Jesus spoke in positive terms to also to them, that kind of thing. But Hillel says, do not do what the others, what you want the others 
to do, not to do to you, do not do to them. So in a negative term, that could be the difference. But they both said it is the whole law and the prophets, whole Torah. Pliny. Pliny, Gaius Plinius Secundus, during this time, called Pliny the Elder, was a Roman author, naturalist, and natural philosopher, and naval and army commander of the early Roman Empire, and a friend of the Emperor Vespasian. He wrote the encyclopedic Naturalist, Historia, Natural History, which became an editorial model for encyclopedia. So he wrote Natural History in an encyclopedic format. Karaite sect. Karaite is a Jewish religious movement in the 8th century characterized by the recognition of the written Torah alone as its supreme authority in halakha and theology. Anan ben David and his followers were later called Karaites. So it, it started from Anan ben David. As far as the calendar was concerned, they determined the beginning of the year and the month by direct lunar observation. So. Uh, the the other Jewish people and the other sects determine the month uh, in a different way, not directly observing the the moon, but this sect still kept the tradition and uh, decided the new year or the new month by observing the new new moon direct. Lunar observation was their method of deciding the new month, different from other people. So there are sometimes some discrepancies between Pharisee calculation of uh, the new month or the day or Karait uh, decision of the new month or any day. Malachi Martin Malachi Brandon Martin was an Irish-born American priest and writer in the Roman Catholic Church. Ordained as a Jesuit priest, Martin became professor of paleography at the Pontifical Biblical Institute in Rome. Pal paleography means the study of the old, right? Old documents like the papyri papyrus and that kind of thing. Martin's 17 novels and non-fiction books were frequently critical of the Vatican hierarchy. So he wrote critically about Vatican uh, hierarchy. His works included The Scribal Character of the Dead Sea Scrolls and Hostage to the Devil. Uh, we, we are interested in this, this book, The Scribal Character of the Dead Sea Scrolls, how the scribes wrote when they copied the Dead Sea Scrolls was the topic of his writing. Community Rule 1QS The community rule which is designated 1QS and was previously referred to as the Manual of Discipline is one of the first scrolls to be discovered near Kirbet Qumran, the Dead Sea Scrolls. The rule of the community is a key sectarian document and is seen as definitive for classifying other compositions as sectarian or non-sectarian. And these are known to be sectarian documents like 1Q Pesher Habakkuk, 1QM War Scroll, the Hodayot, Thanksgiving Scroll, and CD, this is Damascus document, are in, in uh, CD. These are other core sectarian documents together with community rule, right? There are, as I mentioned earlier, three kinds of documents in Dead Sea Scrolls. 
One is biblical scrolls, copying copy of the Bible text. Second is para biblical text. It's like compilation of the biblical text or modification of the biblical text for different uh, usage. And third is the sectarian document, peculiar to its own its own community. Like community rule is representative, right? The last one we want to see is Hans Larondel. He was my teacher as well. Hans Karl Larondel was a respected Seventh-day Adventist theologian, a strong proponent of the gospel and salvation by faith alone. So it was his view. And uh, at that time, he was in the center of controversy uh, between whether it is salvation by faith alone or is it the other way, that kind of thing. He studied with G.C. Burkower at the Free University of Amsterdam. So he sometimes uh, shows uh, the preteristic idea in his writings as well because of the influence of his teacher. His works include Perfection and Perfectionism, Christ, Our Salvation, The Israel of God in Prophecy, Principles of Prophetic Interpretation, and etc. Now we have looked at uh, 20 related words and vocabulary and terms and people uh, in relation with the sects, Jewish religious sects of the time. Okay, have a very good Sabbath. And we will see you when? On Sunday morning at 9.30. Thank you.